Uh, Alright, guys. So, um, I just wanted to do a little update on um, some of the films. Uh, some of my favourite slasher films are. Some of them aren't really slasher. Um, but, you know. Oh, uh, and uh, horror films, okay, some of my favourite horror films. Uh, we've got. Uh, eight. We've got eight horror films here, I think. Uh, yeah, um. 13, including the, uh, little box set at the end. It's got five. Five DVD in the little box set at the end. Alright, so, um. Alright, um, so the first film, what I've, uh, chosen out. <coughs> It's a film which is probably one of my favourite budget films. I think I reviewed it uh, not not that long ago, like last week or something. And it's the Goldman Murders. That's just my Skype and my laptop. Uh, the Goldman Murders. Um, yeah, this film is a really good cheesy. Is this film is really good and um, it's, it's cheesy fun. You know, um, it's a fun cheesy film, low budget. Um, it's one of those cheap, crappy quality ones, but. Um, the thing with the whole crappy quality film, the thing with the whole cheesiness and all that, uh, and all the crappy quality, yeah, you well, know, it's actually meant to be like that. Okay, the film's just like taking the piss. Okay, so it's not meant to be taken seriously. Okay, um, because you know all these films like Killjoy uh, and all that, they're just taking the piss, really. You know, you can, you can't really count. You, you can't really. I mean, you can't. To say that these are meant to be taken seriously. Okay, I mean you watch these films, okay, and you, obviously these films are not meant to be taken seriously. But yeah, um, really good gory one. Okay, yeah, uh, graphic film. Um, I know the effects were pretty bad. You know, the, but the thing what I liked about it was that they is that they actually used real effects. They didn't, they didn't, they actually used real effects. You know, like real blood. I mean, not real blood. You know, real fake blood. Okay, on the gore scenes instead of that cheap sheet instead of that um cheap uh CGI stuff. But yeah, go on mode, it's definitely one to check out. <laughs> uh, these uh first three here, well um that one and the next two I buy I buy the same company, which is uh <coughs> one oh one films. Don't think you can see that. But I'm a big massive fan of that company. <coughs> uh next film it's one what I did enjoy, and it's a sign that Buddy Night. Um, yeah, um, actually, the first four, uh, you know, are actually low budget films, so the next couple are going to be low budget films. But yeah, you know, I thought it was pretty enjoyable, and I like this look cover too. I thought it was a, I, I thought it was a good film, I mean, not as good as this film, okay, because I think this is one of my favourite low budget films of all time. Because I've already gone in there, you know what I mean? I guess if it wasn't for all the gore, I would have just hate the film if it wasn't for all the gore. Uh, it's still a good film anyway. Same with this one, if it wasn't for all the gore, I would have hated it, but, you know. Uh, it's good cheesy fun anyway. <laughs> Again, it's taking the piss. I don't, alright, this next one, is, I think it's meant to be taken seriously. I, mean, I think the acting in this one is meant to be taken seriously. And the quality, is so, in this one, the quality and the acting is a lot more better. Um, still a bit cheesy, you know, it's still a bit off, but, you know, um, the film, what I, I think what I liked about this is the, um, is uh, the guy, our uh, reanimator was in this. Now, I've only seen one reanimator, one uh, reanimator film, which is Beyond Reanimator, and I thought it was crap, okay, but, uh, you know, I mean, the first one, you know, like, it might be classics, and I think the uh, guy is, um, he plays the anime who is Jeffrey Collins or something. But yeah, good film. Um, it's actually a remake. It's just a prequel to the remake. Uh, but yeah, I think this one's... I've never seen the remake, but I heard that this one's a lot more better. And this is the 3D version. I think 3D is a bit overrated these days. It's just a bit annoying. Next one is... Pro pro one more... Um, if you're a big fan of cheesy low budget films, you probably have heard of this one. And it's Killjoy. You know what I mean? Um, if you like cheese low budget films, you have to see Killjoy. You know what I mean? Um, I guess the best time for you to actually see this film is uh, with your mates, you know. Um, 
I guess if you if you and your mates like taking piss out of films, okay, and then I guess you should watch this together. Not any gay way, but you should watch this though. For the, I mean that for the first time, not like. Anyway, it don't matter. So yeah, next this next one is this hover hover uh, triple box set. Yeah, um, I guess the best one. I've only seen House of Bones and Underground. I've not seen Q. But yeah, they're both they're both well not I've seen, they're both good. I liked Underground a lot more better than uh, House of Bones. Because I thought that, you know I thought that uh, Underground was a bit more entertaining than the House of Bones. Uh, you know, because House of Bones was a bit boring at times. It was good but you know, it was just a bit you know, um it was a bit slow. I mean, it took a really um, slow time. It, it took a really long time to get to each death scene, so it was a bit. It was a really slow film, but Underground was a fast film. You know, I mean, they go just happen like that. <laughs> Next is a film which I love. Okay, probably one of my favourite films. Probably one of my favourite fight films. You no, know, because I I love to see you know my both of my two favourite uh, both of my two favourite um heroes to clash together, you know, fight together, and it's Freddy vs. Jason. Yeah, um, this is the two disc, the two disc uh, version. I love this film. Okay, I mean, you know, I love the fight scene at the end. Um, I liked how, uh, I liked how, uh, you know, actually, I, I think what I liked about this is the ending, the fight scene. Not just about the fight, um, it's that, how how it was a draw how it was like a, a draw okay because it was well, the way you think about it it was a draw because they were both alive at the end i mean freddie got his head cut off but he, he was still alive so you can count it as a draw <coughs> i liked how you're thinking to yourself oh wait who's gonna win who's gonna win and then to find out that it's actually a draw oh uh, yeah um good gory fun um i'll count oh uh, people say um people like um, say to each other like, would you count this, uh, count this as a Freddy's movie or a Jason film? People keep on saying, would you count this as a Freddy film or a Jason film? Well, I, 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 I would, um, I would either count it as both or I would count it as none. It's either one of those. I'll count it as both. Actually, no, I'll count it as both. It's another. It's a Freddy film. It's a Nightmare on Elm Street film and. It's a Friday the 13th film at the same time. It's got Freddy and Jason in it, so it's obviously a Friday the 13th film and a Freddy film at the same time. So you know, that's that's probably like, uh, you know, so people should have stopped up to think that. Next is a film which is probably one of my favourite out of the franchise, out of this uh, little doll franchise, and it's Ch Curse of Chucky. Really good, fun. Um, <coughs> got some. Uh, I thought it was a good way to bring back. Um, you know, I thought it was um better than the first one, actually. Um, you know, I mean, I love the first one. It's a classic. The second one, I just I love even more. Third one, I love even more than the second one. By the Chucky, I liked that. Uh, I loved it, but I didn't love it as much as the third one. And the same with Seeds Chucky. Um, but Curse of Chucky, I thought this was better than the first one. Even better than the first three. Probably one of my favourite out of all of them. And they can't wait for the seventh one. They're making a new Chucky film. <laughs> um, I think they should do it like... Um, um, you know what I mean? Like, I think they're like doing something else. With Chucky 7, I think they're like... Um, doing something else, like changing the plot around a bit. You know, just like... Uh, putting him... You know what Brother Jules films like? Uh, say like if they did uh, Jason and... Amer like Jason takes Manhattan. Okay, yeah, I heard, I heard that Chucky's just going to be like that, you know, set somewhere else. But I don't like how we're doing that. I want it to just be, like, normal. I don't like how they, I don't. I don't like it when people change, when movies change like that. But I guess it would be fun to actually see Chucky somewhere else, you know, the way you think about it. Like him on a train or something. Uh, anyway, the Wrong Turn franchise, next. Uh, we've got all five films. I uh, love all of them, apart from Wrong Turn 3. I didn't like that one at all. I just thought it was boring, really slow film. Okay, I mean, you didn't really see. Um, the, I mean, it was a bit gory, you know, it wasn't the goriest out of all of them. Okay, um, but I didn't like Wrong Turn 3. Wrong Turn 1 and 2 were good. Wrong Turn 4 and 5 
Uh, we're good. Uh, I'll have one of these apart from one Jeffrey. Okay, guys, so that's, uh. Yeah, um, that's my uh, Jeffrey. Okay, so that's collection. Video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. Great, bye.